All right, so uh, I'm over here ready to taper the holes and match them to the spindles. Now, the first thing I did was I picked out my best spindles and put those in the middle, the straightest spindles and the uh, crookedest spindles uh, go on the outside. And so you can see the bow in that one, but uh, those are going to work just fine. In fact, I like them a little bit like that. <clears throat> They'd be fine. So I've numbered them, so I'll make sure not to get the wrong one, and put the corresponding numbers over here on the bottom of the arm rail, so I'll make sure that fitting the right spindle to the right hole. Um, now, for years I tapered these holes with a rat tail file. This is a 12 inch rough cut Nicholson rat tail file. Uh, it's it's readily available, it's cheap, and it works, it works great. One thing that uh, I like about it over this, and this is the way that I've done it for five or six years since I got this, is that the taper on this is slimmer. So visually when you're looking at the chair, I like the look of it and the difference in the spindle as it's entering this hole and coming out. It's not quite as abrupt as it is with this, with this reamer right here. Uh, and so I actually like the finished results of what the Reptile file does. And I've always thought I might go back to it. It just takes a little bit more work than it does with this reamer right here. This reamer's really fast. Just pop it in the hole, couple of turns, try the spindle to it, and then you can just move right on. Uh, this is that reamer that I tapered the arm support holes with that I told you I wasn't going to tell you how much I paid for it. Um, so I'm going to do this. I've matched these up to the hole that the rat tail file does. And I'm going to show you how to do it with the, with the rat tail file. And uh, the reason why is because it's not an expensive tool. And you can, you know, you can, you can get that maybe at your hardware store. Or at the very least, you can find it and, and order it. So I'll set my, my reamer to the side, and uh, <clears throat> now I don't know about another using another bit brace with this. I have no idea because that tang would fit through. I guess you could make it fit. You could cut it off or do something where it it fit a universal chuck or something. But they sure do work nice in Spoffords. Just about perfect. So got that mounted. Um, now I'm going to take the the third hole and have it just barely sticking up like that. And I think I'm going to put my grippy gloves on here because I'm going to be working that spindle in there and out and it hurts my elbows as I've said before. So the very first thing I'll do is I'll check it just to make sure and that's a 7 16 inch hole and I fit this to a 7 16 inch hole tapered with Reptile file. So that's what we're going to do. So you can see I lack uh, two or three inches there. And take it out. Now the teeth on this are spiraled. So you want to go counterclockwise to cut. Clockwise, it'll screw it in and eventually split the rail. But it's hard to get it seated. If you're bouncing around right like that, it means that you're not seated in there. So what I do is I take about a half a turn and let it screw itself in and it centers. And then I can go backwards. And you see it's not centered in. Now I'll take this and see what we did. And I got about three fourths of it. So I like just a hair more. Let it script itself in. And there we go. Let's see what we got here. Well, didn't quite get it, but get the idea there that is very nice and tight great way, great way to put a chair together 
So let me take just a little turn over here. Just perfect. Okay. So I'll set that one to the side. Okay, so we got spindle number four here. And I always try them first just to make sure I know they're not going to go up in there any further. Right there's the, the line, if you can see it on the film. So, what, two inches or so. But I just try it just to make sure. I screw it in and then there we go. Ought to be awful close there. About three quarters of an inch. to the line on the front and just tight as a drum down here on the bottom same up here on the top so you know yeah it's a little more work than just boring the hole and sliding the spindle up in there and maybe having a little slop but boy it sure is nice when you put that chair together and it fits like it fits like this since I've done it with the rat tail file but uh, uh, gosh it cuts better than what I than what I remember it uh, cutting and uh, uh, the way I learned that is Dave Sawyer showed me that when I first went up to see him a um, long time ago 84 I went up and stayed with him and he he showed me showed me how to do that so that's a it's a neat trick <laughs> 